<laughs> get that pretty red right there. All right. So this is JWSR collection. This is not a um, this is not a learning video. This is just a, a showing the process. The watercolor paper has already been um, uh, prepared. So now what I'm about to do is I'm about to begin to paint on it. I have a few colors over here, and this is just uh, beginning the starting the process. Don't mind if the paint splatters onto the other uh, the other painting. It often brings um, character to the next one. I normally don't try to um, tell it what to do. As Pollock said, I allow room for the accident. Recognizing that I'm not in control at all. There's some of them that, at times, I like for them to um, to drip. As you see that it began to pour into the other painting which doesn't really matter except for the fact that I really don't like to blend typical colors of like red white and blue together or you know um, common themes together I like to really take colors and that are unusual colors and, and put them together um, I believe that um, the color palette is uh, has not been completely used yet. I really try my best to blend colors that you wouldn't often see together or that um, you would be surprised that they match once they are together and how close in family they actually are. So see this one right here is beginning to drip. Um, so now um, I probably I think I want this green one to drip as well. And even while it's wet, um, at times I will add different things to it. But it's kind of like a, it's a patience game because you kind of want to wait until it dries just a little bit before you add some different things to it. But this right here is pretty close to dry. So, I mean, it's still wet, but it will allow me to add some different colors to it. <coughs> I don't 
try to um, control too much. This is still just the first layer. So I really allow it, I like it to kind of still talk to me in a way. I kind of like this brown. The interesting thing is that we don't often, you don't often see brown used. Um, as being a beautiful color and that's kind of like the reason why I want to use it. I really like to take colors that aren't often considered beautiful and then have you be able to look at them in a new way. Um, that's what art is supposed to do. So now I'm about to hang that one up and see if I can get a, a different look on it. As you can see in this beginning process, a lot of the, I like to allow the different colors to meld. And see now that's what's that done what's that has done naturally I couldn't have done this beautiful. <laughs> 